Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Wiz and today man, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the three-point shooter popper build. As you guys can see right here, small forward, glass cleaning takeover, sharp shooting takeover, three-point shooter. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this build. So right here, you wanna go small forward as the position. This is how you get the name three-point shooter. If you don't, it's gonna be called like an inside out, two-way something, I don't know. Just not, a, not as cool of a name as three-point shooter. And in this, it's just your preference, jersey number doesn't matter. You want to go 6'9", 228 pounds with a 7'7 seven seven wingspan. 228 pounds, you still get an 80 speed with 75 XL while still having an 86 strength and gold brick wall. It's the best of both worlds and the 7'7 seven seven wingspan helps you get a defensive rebound of a 99 as well as a block as a 99, some steel, and some perimeter D. Body shape, you can go whatever you want. I went to find. These are the attributes I went. 50 close shot, 65 driving layup, 84 driving dunks. So you get base contact dunks as well as the quick drops. I made this build when the plus eight glitch was out. So I got 16 instead of eight, but they did patch that. So it only is 12 now, but every season for the next four seasons, I'll just put my badge point on it. So it's pretty much the same thing. For shooting, 79 mid range, 82 three pointer with a 73 free throw. I do plan on playing the four with this build, possibly in Pro-Am, and I think I can green with a 73 free throw. Pass accuracy, 70, not the highest. This year, you kind of have to pick one, one category to kind of sacrifice, and I had to do playmaking. My shooter build last year, which was also a popper, it had like a 75 ball handle or something like that. I just couldn't do that this year. But I mean, still a 70 pass accuracy, that's decent. If you can try and get it to a 75, do that so you can get the LeBron pass style. But other than that, there's not much else you can do. Interior defense is an 80, so super good. I can get some blocks in the paint. 86 perimeter defense, super good. I get gold challenger and silver clamps, as well as gold menace and gold pick dodger. 78 steel, so I get silver interceptor. 99 block, 85 offensive rebound, and a 99 defensive rebound. You get Hall of Fame rebound chaser. I'm pretty sure my build last year only got gold, so this is good. Speed, you have an 80 speed with a 75 excel, while still having an 86 strength and an 85 vertical. So the, the physicals on this build are nasty, man. You're going to be jumping over kids, grabbing boards, shooting over people. And you won't be losing your stamina quick either. You have a 94 stamina. So this build is all around just a beast, man. As you guys can see, I recommend putting your plus four badge points on finishing. You can tweak it around, maybe take mid range off if you don't want some shooting bat. If you don't want a shooting badge or something, maybe try and get to a 75 pass accuracy. But yeah, this is the build I made. The takeovers you get, you get sharp shooting takeover, lockdown takeover, rim protecting takeover, and glass cleaning takeover. And I'm running see the future and spot up. So glass and sharp, super nasty build, man. Right here, we'll see the shades. I think it's like Sean Marion. Yeah, Sean Marion, OG Anunoby, and Jason Tatum. And as you can see, we have built a three-point shooter. Super cool name, super good popper build. I'm gonna go on my build right now and show you guys the animations I have upgraded, the badges I'm using, as well as the jump shots that I use. All right, so I'm in the city right now. As you guys can see, I'm on my three-point shooter build. This build is just, it's so nasty, man. Just so y'all know, I'm not lying. These are the attributes. Same as I just showed you guys. Maxed my three-pointer, got an 80 driving dunk. Maxed out my pass accuracy, maxed out my defense, and almost maxed out my physicals. But 94 overall, so I do I do need a lot more of my points to hit 99, but we'll end up getting that eventually. These are the badges I use. As you can see in the top right, I don't have all of them. But yeah, these are the badges I'm using currently. If I was the core badge, it'd be the either Limitless Takeoff, Osterizer, or Bully. Probably Bully Silver. That would be nasty. Shooting badges, these are just... These are good. I don't know really what to say. These are what I'm using right now. I still get five more, so I can probably get Dead Eye or Limitless up. I'll probably core Limitless or Catch and Shoot, depending. Probably Catch and Shoot Gold is what I'll core once I get that eventually, you know. Playmaking badges, this is what I'm using. I'll probably core Bailout eventually. And defensive badges, this is what I'm using. Box Out and Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame. I get five more defensive badges, so I'll mess with this once I get them. But this is what I'm using right now. I'd probably core Rebound Chaser or Anchor or Brick Wall, one of these tier three badges. Now I'm gonna show you guys the jump shots I use on this build because it doesn't have the highest three pointer. First jump shot, come on, man. Terrence, man, base. 
Kawhi Leonard, Tony Kukoc. Super good all around jump shot. Super fast, super green, super good. Next jump shot is JT Thor. Pretty much a mellow ball, but you can use it with a lower three pointer. Super good jump shot. And then finally, the last jump shot is Kyle Kuzma, one of the best popper bases in the game. As you can see, this is the jump shot I'm using. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you make this build, let me know. I'm a huge fan of this build, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been your boy Wiz, and I'm out, man. Peace.